Hello and be welcome to Let's Develop Teaser on Robotsl. In this episode I'm going to start playing the Robotsl puzzle programming game and you guys decide whether I continue on that or not by giving me a thumbs up on this video or not. Okay, let's jump right into the tutorial of the game. So Robotsl is all about uh, programming this little guy here as far as I understand and the idea is in every level to pick up all the stars. So yeah, I read that. And in fact, I can use three commands to program the robot. In this level, at least, there is the commands uh, straight ahead, turn left and turn right. And I can program the robot by placing the commands in this area here. In this case, I have nine, no, ten, ten spots available to place commands. And when I think I'm ready to solve the level, I can uh, hit the go button to let the robot like follow the commands I gave him. So for the first tutorial level, the, the robot is here, it's looking to the right. So to pick up the first star, I'm going to pick uh, two times straight. Then I want to turn left and left another time, which is in fact turn around. And then I want to go straight ahead straight ahead, straight ahead, and again. And then I hit go, and the robot should pick up all the stars. Yep, I got it. Next tutorial level. Uh, in this level, I have two command slots available, so F1 and F2, and I can use these as subroutines. So um, I can drag the, the F2 or the F1 button from here, over to these fields and make these routines call each other. In this level, apparently, I want to use this subroutine to go straight twice, which means since this is the same level as before, I want to call the subroutine, then I want to turn around, and then I again want to call the subroutine probably twice. Blah, blah, turn around and get the second star. Yes, that's it. Okay, third puzzle. Uh, in this case, I only have one routine available, but these routines can call themselves. Uh, so use recursion, which means if I place a straight ahead and a self call and hit go, then I programmed an infinite loop, but fortunately uh, the game automatically ends when the last star is selected, so these kind of solutions actually work. Continue on. Um, more interesting things. Apparently we can mark commands with colors. You see down here three colors available, so uh, that a command is actually executed under the condition that the field I'm currently on has the particular color. Okay. Um, for example, in this case, I want to turn right if the field is blue, otherwise I want to go straight, probably. So I guess, I guess, I guess I want to uh, press continue up here. Okay, I want to turn right when I'm on the blue field. And I want to go straight ahead in any case because otherwise I keep on turning here, right? Um, and then I want to call myself to repeat that step, right? Let's try it out. Straight ahead, straight ahead, turn straight, yeah, that was right. Okay, with this I completed the tutorial and I'm actually going to finish this episode here as you can see, I already started with the first game, uh, the first level of the campaign mode, uh, just to try it out and to figure out what these votes are. It's actually up and down votes for the level. And I would be willing to continue with these, uh, at least with the campaign levels, which are 8 times 18, so uh, around 150 levels. I'll probably not do all the levels because I figured out already that there's uh, 168 pages of levels, so roughly 168 times 8. That's a little too much probably because I would be going on with the robots for the next 5 or f 10 years, don't know. Um, but I would be willing to at least try to complete the 
campaign level if you guys want me to. So if you're in favor of me playing this game and recording uh, episodes about it, then give me a thumbs up uh, or a comment or whatever and let me know what you think about it. So that's it for today and I hope to see you next time.